Hi Crypto Kings and Queens, welcome to the channel. My name is Natalie. In today's episode, I will show you extremely important levels on both Ethereum and on XRP. And right now we are on Ethereum retesting a previous support that we have. If you're looking at the daily chart, we saw the market gave us fake outs, market climbed itself above the support again. And will this be where we see the market become a little bit more bullish to reach some Fibonacci levels for a retest? Or will we see the market continuing to be bearish if that's the case? we're using the weekly trend line and also the level at 1240. We have the same scenario when it comes to XRP and we are right now retesting a previous resistance after the fake out that we did have so we can either see the market have some momentum back up to the previous resistance that we have around 0 0.2 4200 or if we are continuing down to the support around 0 0.3 thousand if that's the case high probability is that we're also continuing down to around 0 0.2 2560. Don't forget I am no financial advisor you need to look up everything yourself first please continue looking at this video and I'll show you in detail on what I see right now on both Ethereum and on XRP. looking at ethereum once again and i just want to do an update since the, since the yesterday since yesterday's video that i did if we're looking at the weekly chart we can all see that we have this massive massive candlestick if we go down to the lower time frames what we have right now is that we have we do have two fake out candles okay and these two fake out candlesticks we did have one break below the previous support around 0 0.2050 then we saw the market close inside of the previous support also the previous resistance and now we can see how the market is retesting the level from above. If we go down to the four hourly chart, we have an extremely important level to look at right now. And from here, we'll either see the market give us the rejections that we need around 1,250, and that can take us back up to Fibonacci levels, 1,370, potentially 1,445. This is a level that we then expect the market to give us only a lower high level because remember, we have a massive 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 movements to the downside but one important thing that we need to have in mind was that we did pull back down and retest it or try to break below the trend line remember as i said yesterday with the trend lines are 90 percent more respected than horizontal support and resistance zones if we say that the market breaks below 1241 we can go to the one hourly chart this is extremely important for us to understand now because just because we see that the market closed below the level we see still need to have in mind that if we're pulling back down and retesting this the trend line once again you just might see the market giving you this level this retest okay so if we're pulling back down to the to the trend line make sure to see that we actually have the market giving you a strong breakout potential retest and then a drop because otherwise we just might see the market try to break the level we're closing inside the support trend line and that can take us back up again we've seen the market has some extremely extremely uh, much movement a couple of days ago which means that usually the market is a little bit slow after we've had this big momentum and even if we see the market on the lower time uh, on the higher time frames we have this massive can weekly candlestick we can still see the market give us some quick retest as you see also how quick this happens when we have the wicks against certain levels and when it comes to Fibonacci levels the market usually give us a quick retest and then a continuation of the drop I am still extremely bearish when it comes to Ethereum, Bitcoin, and all of the other coins. But what we're looking at right now is a potential retest on higher targets before we see the market give us the continuation of the drop. These two candlesticks is representing the weekly wick that we have at the moment. Depending on how the market is gonna close, I still believe that we just might have some, uh, some pullbacks to some levels, but then obviously i still believe that we will continue to drop from here when it comes to xrp we did break above the previous resistance at 0 0.4200 we saw the market then close inside of the sideways market that we did have since before you can see how the market did bounce in between the support and resistance zones we tried to break the resistance we were above it for a while and then market closed inside of this again what we can see right now too we do have these two fake out fake out candlesticks and we 
we are right now retesting the previous resistance at 0.3600. This can definitely be if we're breaking below the level, we can definitely see the market continuing to be bearish and drop down to the support at 0.3000. But if we go down to the one hourly chart, you can see how the market is giving us clear market structure, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, etc. We are right now retesting the previous resistance that we spoke about and it's on the lower time frames you'll either see how the market continuing to give you the lower lows and lower highs for a new potential drop or if you start to see that the market actually respect the level at 0.3500 and then eventually break above the resistance trend line that is representing the pullback to the downside if we are breaking above one of the low pre, the lower highs that you probably see the market creating we will also see the break of the trend line, line the market the market creates a high high then potential high and low and if that's the case that just might be us taking back up to only retest the, the resistance one more time for then a potential pullback another thing that we also can do when it comes to this level is that we go to the daily chart and we're also using a fibonacci from the highest point to the lowest point and you can see how the 61.8 percent and the 50 percent is exactly around the level that we have the resistance which means that this is definitely a level that we can get drawn to because right now what we can see is this could potentially be the low a higher low only to retest the previous fake out level take us back up and then see the market create the second leg based on this high and this low for a potential new drop because sometimes we need to use the higher time frames Fibonacci levels um, because usually the market is respecting them more so if we're only looking at the lower time frames of course that's more for scalping but it's always important to look at the higher time frames perspective to understand those levels because then you'll see on the lower time frames how you are preparing your how the market is preparing itself to come there are looking at the weekly chart when it comes to dxy dxy is extremely important right now we are retesting at the moment a level at 106.350 this is a 50 percent fibonacci level that we have from the higher time frames perspective and if that's the case then the 61.8 percent is going to be around this level that we have at 104.500 or 600 so this can definitely be be where we see the market continuing to drop and the same thing here either we'll see the market give us some rejections around this level and then see the market continue up because the overall we are in a uptrend but this is extremely bearish at the moment so if we're continuing to drop we can also see on dxy that we just might pull back down and retest this previous resistance that we did break above around 102.400 so what happens previous resistance potentially becomes to new support so let us see if this is going to be where we see the dxy continuing to drop and if that is the case then btc and ethereum and everything that goes against it will become bullish but that does not mean bullish forever that just means that we just might have a bigger pullback depending on how dxy is working but the first level that i am looking at when it comes to ethereum in this case if we see bigger momentum that is as i said in the beginning around 1370 and 1445 whatever happens after that we do not know do we continue to hire targets i don't think so but this is the level that i'm looking for if it we are being becoming bullish if we're continuing to drop well then we're using the, the weekly trend line and the previous support that we did break asset guidelines and if that's the case we just might drop down to 900 dollars again on ethereum if you are someone that wants to have a great platform to trade on with extremely low fees then bybit is the best platform you can right now receive a bonus up to 30 ,030. and as you guys can see you have low fees on all spot pairs if you're not familiar with bybit then you can go into the bitcoincensus.com website and you go into guides and down to bybit tutorial and on here you can see that we have a an article about bybit and you also have andy explaining you with a full tutorial on how to use the, this platform it is leverage trading guys so always be careful use risk management but you can also see on here exactly on how we're explaining leverage trading for beginners so if you do not know how leverage trading is working please go into this website you have it under guides bybit tutorial thank you everyone for looking at this video together with me i hope you did enjoy it don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the notification so 
you know when I am live next time or when I do have my daily updates. What do you think will happen? Do you think that we'll continue to be bearish and break below the support trend line? Or do you think that we just might have a small retest up to some higher targets when it comes to Ethereum? I wish everyone a great weekend. I love you. Bye!